it's been a while since I last uploaded almost half a year anyways today I'll be showing you a few steps on how you can get the maximum performance out of your low-end PC this video is not game specific if you want game specific videos or guides you can go to the channel well that being said let's begin okay so first of all you need to swap to high performance power plan for that just search for power plan in the search bar and go to choose a power plan in here you can choose high performance or ultimate performance to get the maximum out of your cpu and gpu that windows can offer by itself in case you do not have high performance or ultimate performance you can go and watch this video in this video i have shown how you can create your own power plan that is similar to these next up is disabling unnecessary effects to free up your cpu cycles for game performance and stuff so just hit windows r and type sysdm dot cpl now go to advanced and you will see performance click settings and in here click adjust for best performance hit apply and okay now just go ahead and enable hardware accelerated gpu scheduling for that just right click and go to display settings in display settings you will see graphics and in the graphics you will find advanced graphics settings and there you have hardware accelerated gpu scheduling turn this one on also if you have an apu and a gpu you can just scroll down select the game that you're looking for and here let windows decide so just you can go ahead and change it and select high performance just in case it is set to power saving and in here high performance will show you the dedicated gpu that you have and power saving one will show you the apu if you have in my case i do not have an apu that's why it's showing the gpu in both of the cases now just hit Control shift and escape to open the task manager in here go to startup apps and disable all the unnecessary apps that you don't really need like just in case for many of you steam will be listed here and enabled you don't need steam every time you open up your pc so you can just go ahead and disable it i have already disabled it same goes for discord face it and various other apps you can go ahead and disable them if you don't really need them next up we have graphic card updates so if you have nvidia you can find the update in the geforce app or if you have amd you can you can find the update in the amd adrenaline app or if you do not have the app you can just go ahead and search for the gpu drivers once that is done you can open up your start bar and go to settings in here go for the windows update and why am i saying windows update is because microsoft sometimes add performance improvements behind the scenes so if that's the case you can just go ahead check for updates and download it next up is cpu unpacker the link will be in the description so you just have to run it click check status and it will show you the values by default the system cores are parked you just have to click unpark all and that's it so your CPU cores are parked by default when not in use. What CPU Unparker does is it unparks all the cores. I have shown it in the previous videos. It will be helpful for some of the games, not all. Like for me, it was Battlefield 4 for which it helped me. So if this helps you, great. If not, it's not a bad thing. And you don't need to do it after every restart. You can do it once and never do it again until you reset your PC or something. Other than the Windows optimization, what you can do is some hardware optimization. And what do I mean by that? Basically, you can go ahead and clean your thermal paste just in case you haven't changed in the last three or six months. That can help you reduce the temperature of your CPU and yeah, avoid thermal throttling and thereby increasing performance. Other thing is upgrade to an SSD if you haven't so far. If you are using a hard drive, then I would recommend you to switch to SSD. For faster load times, it won't directly affect your FPS, but the gaming experience itself will improve. There will be less stutters and load times will be faster. So if you are going for RAM upgrade, try to go for dual channel RAM rather than single channel. Like I have 16 gigs of RAM and for that I have 2 sticks of 8GB. And if you want to go for 32 gigs, then try for 4 sticks of 8GB RAM or 2 sticks of 16GB RAM rather than a single stick of 32GB one more thing that i have shown in many previous videos is xmp profile if your ram supports xmp profile then go ahead in the bios and turn xmp profile to one how to do that you can watch in the previous videos not really a complex task 
and with all that said this is what you can do to squeeze out the maximum performance from your low-end pc if you want me to make a game specific video do let me know in the comments and thanks for watching and see you soon in the next video hopefully if i'm not lazy